Hey, what's going on guys? Lost Will Custom Offsets. Today's video, we got another episode of This or That. I brought Luke over from Archon, uh, and we are gonna answer some of the that questions. Sweet deal, let's get to it. All right, before we hop into it, we are doing another giveaway. All you gotta do is pick up one of these hoodies or t-shirt. The cool thing about this time is the t-shirt and hoodie design are actually different, so that's pretty cool. You won't have the same thing as your t-shirt and your hoodie. They won't be matching, or you rip off your hoodie. It's literally the same exact thing underneath. None of that now. So we're talking TIS wheels, uh, Toyo tires, BDS suspension, uh, front road armor bumper, and a black label Ooh. lighting kit. Quite very, the build. Very fancy. Yeah. You guys can get that at uh, customoffsets.com forward slash giveaway. Also, wheel tire suspension, customoffsets.com. Let's hop to it. Archon Alexander or Archon Caesar? You look at me right away? Come on. Yeah, you work there. Uh, I'm going to have to go with the Alexander. No, the reason I picked the Alexander is one of our original wheel designs. Um, and personally, I don't, I don't want to say it, but the Caesars kind of played out a little bit. Um, well, I, I think it's overplayed say, just because it's brand it. new. I don't know. I, I like the, the, the curves on the Alexander versus the, the straight spoke of the Caesar. Um, it it kind of gives it more of a concave design if you look at it from like straight on. Yeah. Um, but again, that's just a personal preference. And personally, I think they look good on pretty much anything you put them on. That's fair. Um, I mean, you can say the same thing about the Caesar, but it doesn't really have that super directional twist to it. They're still directional, obviously. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just dig the dig the design of the Caesar, yeah. uh, the Alexander, a little bit more. I'd agree, just because like the the Caesar, obviously, I'm running and I I love it, especially in a 24, and even like when you guys get your mm -hmm. 26s. I think would look insane. But like, if you look at like a 22, I think the Alexander takes the cake. Yeah, absolutely. Or even like a 20. Um, but I love the thin spoke, um, like proper directional, just everything looks so much better. I really need to get my milling back and I think my, my wheels would be even more hot. But so far, I think overall the Caesar is my favorite. That was another thing I was gonna add too. Like, it's definitely the milling on it. Um, really makes the wheel pop and I think John kind of put that into the into the design purposely mm -hmm. um, But yeah, I mean there's we've seen a couple of people who have custom colored them um, And they kind of pop the same way they do when they stock come with the uh, stock black and milled on it But yeah, I think it's it's definitely the milling that sets it off on both of them. Sure. New Ford Bronco or new Jeep Wrangler? I went first last time you're going up. New Bronco. I'm gonna have to agree with you again on it. I've never been like a huge Jeep fan. Um, like, don't get me wrong, like some people do. Our Jeep guys are over there. Right. They're upset. Sorry, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like like some um, some off-road builds that we see pop up um, are super cool, don't get me wrong. And yeah. especially when guys do rock crawling stuff with them, I'm like totally game for that. Um, but pretty much anything else, I'd, I'd definitely go with the new Bronco, especially with like the updated look. And we did a rendering of it right when it came out. And if you if you could find a way to solid axle swap and put 24s on it, it would look yeah fantastic. It would look insane, yeah. And then that too, it's like the Bronco comes stacked from the factory already. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could literally swap some wheels and tires, and you're you're ready to rock. And I think Jeep to this day still is pretty much all the same. They've made minor tweaks here and there, but I think overall the, the Bronco is such a shock to the world that right. there's no way I couldn't pick that. You just won a 2021 truck. Which truck are you going to pick and what are you going to do to it? Oh man. A 2021. I feel like I want to stray away from what I truly want right now and go with the gym. Why you gotta steal mine? Cut. Because, I don't know, I'm so torn right now. Like I want a 17 F250 really bad, but like if you could choose a brand, brand new truck, like right, the yeah. fifth gen Ram Absolutely. Limited, like they're nasty. I mean, not to go back to the previous question, but again, like interior, if you look at it, huge touch screen, like everything's mm -hmm. super updated. Um, but just to be different from you, I think I would still pick a new Super Duty. As far as like parts that would fit on it, um, and especially if you're going for that like big huge show build, I think that's just the way to do it. And if you yeah. had, if you had, I mean, if money wasn't an object, like obviously you can just go wild with it. Why yeah. Not, why not go for the top right away? Yeah. But. Absolutely. Neutral colored truck with colored wheels or colored truck with neutral colored wheels. Yeah. Neutral colored truck with colored wheels. I don't like colored trucks. I'm like a black, gray, silver, white. I don't really stray away from that much. 
Like I don't like red at all. I literally wrap my trucks. I hate red. As so, you as you have a purple, yeah. and black, white. <laughs> well, yeah, but all, but majority of the color of my truck is black. Then just to toss in like some colored wheels, like literally, if you were to take my truck, take out the purple, and like it would just be like a black Silverado for wheels, I would think I would take that over like a purple truck with black wheels. Right. See, I'm, I'm the exact opposite from you. I would almost rather do a colored truck and either slap on like some polished Johnnies or um, just some chrome wheels. And you could almost put more of like your color accents into like spike lug nuts and suspension parts and stuff like yeah. that. Um, Back barrel. Right, so. exactly. Because I don't know, it, especially when purchasing a vehicle, like black, white, silver, I don't know. It's, it's literally what you see every single day. Yeah, so, that's fair. I'd much rather have something that's a little bit different and then just kind of keep everything else kind of neutral underneath it, but yeah. OBS Chevy or Cat Eye Chevy? Mm, I'd say OBS. I don't know, like a while ago, like I, I've never minded like the Cat Eye, but like I'm starting to fall more and more in love with the OBS. I'd, I didn't really have like a, a growing up where like my grandpa had like the OBS or like my dad had the OBS. So like I was never like a huge like OBS guy, like, oh my God, OBS. Right. But now the more and more I see them, the more and more I've seen them built, I kind of wouldn't mind one. I think that, I think it'd be sick, especially for like your afternoon weekend driver or something. Not, it doesn't have to be like a 12 inch lift, 24, 14, right. like crazy, like forties. But I think even just to have a stock one for like a daily driver, summer, summer night driver, you know, I think that'd be sick. Right. See, that's what's interesting is I'd, I'd go with the cat eye route. Um, I had a buddy in college that actually had, I think it was, forget the year on it, um, but he had some 20 by 10s, like exactly how you think every single cat eye is. And uh, we used to just mob around that thing. And I don't know if it was just more of like a nostalgia thing, but especially, again, kind of going the opposite route, if you're gonna build it to the hill, I would, I would much rather have like a cat eye and then just do some some crazy bumpers on it yeah. and just make it stupid clean. And Absolutely. Make it the truck that everybody on the internet wants. Straight pipe diesel or straight pipe gasser? What kind of question is that? Straight pipe diesel. Straight pipe diesel for sure. To hear all the, duh! Get to hear all the cool turbo noises. Yeah, absolutely. And some like a lot of straight pipe gasers do not sound. Do not sound. Right. It's kind of just a, that low V8. They yeah. all kind of sound the same type deal. Yeah. Ask Banker about a uh, straight pipe to gasers. Yeah. They'll tell you all about it. First gen Cummins or OBS Power Stroke? I'm going first gen Cummins. I'm gonna disagree with you again. OBS Power Stroke all day. There was a, it was that tan OBS that was at SEMA two years ago. I have to say two years now because they didn't really have one this year. Um, that I think was lifted, just all done up underneath. And like if I was going to build build an old truck, obviously OBS Power Stroke yeah. all day long. Yeah, I don't know. I think I I just I really love the like sleek, clean square <laughs> body of the first gen Cummins. Um, there's been like three guys that I've been following on the gram lately and they're just, they're beautiful. I don't know, I love them. And even something like that I wouldn't go too crazy with. I think just like the simple four to six inches, nice wheels, nice tires, it just looks so good. Right. Lifted two-door Tahoe or slammed four-door Tahoe? I need to throw a Tahoe in there and make it all interesting. Can I pick neither? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Not really a fan of either, especially like lifting two-door trucks or SUVs in general. Um, if I think I had to pick between the two, I would probably slam a four-door because if I'm going to buy a vehicle that big, I want to be able to put stuff in it. So sure. I don't know. That's the only uh, justification I can get out of it. <laughs> I think I would just go lift the two-door just because I don't want to. Slam four-door. <laughs> I don't know. That's yeah. I'd, I'd go lift it over slam. Bonus question. Cookies or brownies? Well, I worked at a cookie factory for like four years, so I'm gonna go with brownies because you kind of lose the taste to, to cookies, so. I'm gonna go with cookies. Have you ever had Subway cookies? Yeah, I, I literally used to make those. <laughs> <laughs> They're fantastic. Brownies is just too much. But like, think, think about if you had the option to like take home like two cases of cookies every single day, Every shift you went to work, like. I mean, I wouldn't because I don't have the metabolism. You could, I could not. Cookies. 
All right, guys, that's what we got for you guys on today's episode of This or That. Thank you, Luke, for joining us. Yeah, no problem. Once again, if you guys need wheels, tires, suspension, accessories, customoffsets.com. We'll see you guys in the next one.